Hello, this is Todd Wiedekamp with Berkey's Farm Store. I'm a precision farming specialist, and today I'm gonna to go over how to set up your Pro 700 display for variety tracking and how to double check and make sure that your varieties are correctly loaded in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you now how to load in the information that you took from and created from your desktop software on the two previous videos and show you how to pull all that information up on your Pro 700 display. You took the, the information off of your desktop and you exported it to a USB drive. And as you can, you might not be able to see, but there is a USB drive in the side here and we powered it up. So that information has then been read into the display. But before you think you have everything together, you need to triple check and make sure that you even have the correct software loaded on your Pro 700 display to make variety tracking work. So I'm gonna scroll down to my second page here and what I'm looking for is variety zone. And as you can see, we have variety zone, which is variety tracking, currently loaded on this Pro 700 display. So we have the correct software necessary. And you also need precision farming loaded in there. So now that we know we have the correct software, what I need to do is set up a run screen uh, to put that information on. And so right now I have a little bit of everything on this display, but run six, I have nothing. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead in my layout tab and create a run screen just for mapping and checking my variety. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna scroll down to map two by four and load that in. Next thing I'm gonna do is go down to my V for variety. And the next thing I'm gonna look at is um, my variety tracking. Now you can get away with just having these two on there and that would be just fine because this is going to give your variety number when you're in the field and this is going to say that variety mapping is turned on or auto or whatever but the other two that you can put down here which might not quite be necessary are uh, variety color legend and variety legend and all that's going to do is give you you can say either um, pink or blue, um, it, it's, it's not really critical. So a lot of times we'll just put uh, your map and your variety and variety track, and maybe a guidance engage or something like that. So with that being said, we're just gonna check everything. And um, what we actually do have here, um, a variety did show up. One variety is planted in the specific field and it pulled up NK39U2. So uh, we do know that everything loaded in right and everything looks good. Now, it's very hard to tell, but we're way up here and uh, this field is down here. Once we get closer to this field, it'll, it will expand and look normal for you. But the critical thing to know is I have a variety in that specific field. Now you'll notice it says on and manual. Most of the time you're gonna have this in the auto position or variety tracking just on. A note though is when you go in to do your yield, weight, and everything calibration, you want to either turn it off or you want to have it in manual. The reason being is with variety tracking when you're moving across the field, that might switch varieties on you and so your tasks will switch. So it's good, it could potentially mess up your calibration. So it's probably recommended to put it on the manual and manually select which variety that you are in if you know. And that should uh, be your little checklist on making sure you have variety tracking loaded in correctly.